Hello everyone, I'm Kartika Jinaya at Secure All India Ring 1 in NEED UG 2021 and I am currently pursuing MBBS from Ames New Delhi. So today I'm going to talk about effective daily schedule and timetable for NEED examination. So NEED is not something that we achieve in one day or one month or even two months. It I had prepared for two years and most people do even more than that. So it's a long journey and when it's a journey you need to have track of what you have done and what you have not right so it is very helpful if you have a schedule or timetable that will help you prepare for the examination but we can be most people do without that like me too but ultimately before the examination there are 97 chapters there is no way you can do 97 chapters without a schedule or timetable in mind okay so i'll uh, tell you a rough idea of what I had did for my examination and maybe that will help uh, with your preparation also. So we will start talking about the schedule I had followed for the examination. So talking about class 11 and 12th, I divide my preparation into two phases 11th and 12th. In class 11th, there was no lockdown. I had to go to uh, coaching and school both offline. So by the time my school and coaching was done, it was already 5 p.m. So 5, uh, not 5 p.m. actually 8 p.m. So uh, by the time I'd be back home, it will be 8 p.m. and I'm usually tired. So then I'll take a break. Then I start studying at 9. And I feel sleepy somewhere around 12. So that's around maximum 2 to 3 hours of self-study on working days. This is I'm talking about self-study. After 5 hours of college and 3 hours of, um, you know, coaching. So that is what I got, two to three hours of self-study. Plus on holidays, I would take it to around six to eight hours of self-study when I had no uh, school or coaching. So this is what I followed for most of 11th. And um, my coaching used to kind of tests every, in once in every two weeks, then eventually they increase the frequency to two times a week and stuff. So tests I used to give regularly. Not a lot, like because that was only 11th standard, but yeah, I did do a lot of tests. And in 11th, I basically did not study a lot from NCRT. I had used my modules for study, which had a lot of concepts outside NCRT also. So I had tried to keep my preparation a level higher than what is required for need examination in 11th because there is still time left. Now, when I came to 12th, happened lockdown. Now, another thing that I wanted to tell you here is 11th, I had many backlogs, especially in physics and chemistry physics mainly chemistry was much much better as compared to physics but physics i had a huge backlog now my concepts were not at all clear i always went behind the question 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 i didn't know the concept concept in ipata so physics made up a hot week 11 may bohat come score at the physics my chemistry and biology was wasn't bad but physics was very poor i was pretty stressed about physics then i came to 12th 12th may i locked down everything switched to online so that saved a lot of my time like i never had to go to coaching and classes for the entire academic year after that so that helped me increase my study time so then i started with you know after uh, around three hours of class and three hours of coaching i tried to study around four to six hours of self-study during working days itself and holidays i increased my study to 10 to 12 hours so I increased the duration of my study because I did not have anything else to do at that time. There was no way I could waste my time anywhere because I couldn't go out. I had no extracurricular activities to do. I was just stuck up in my house. So I might as well study. That's what I did. So I studied all this time. So I studied, I spent most of my day studying, used to attend all the classes and stuff. Okay. Then um, that was about majority of 12th, like until around December when my syllabus for need was completed. Then, then I realized that I need to revise 11th also. Then for two months, around a half of December and January, whole of January, I picked up 11th again. Now, by after spending so much time in 12th, I was able to score pretty well as compared to class 11th. And I understood that what you need to go behind is concepts, not questions. First, go behind the concepts and then you can easily do the questions. That's what I understood in my journey in class 12th. Then I took back all the chapters of 11th. I devoted very much time to last class 11th physics and I was able to complete all of that backlog in two months. Very well, I was able to complete all of that backlog in two months and by the end of Jan 2021, I was well versed with both class 11th and class 12 topics. So this is when 
my study was finally completed okay so because i could not uh, complete my backlogs in class 11 because i had left some backlogs in class 11 i took more time so if i had if i i had completed my backlogs before itself i would have completed my syllabus around december 20 but that couldn't be done so i extended my time till 21 i took my own time i devoted a lot of time i worked extra hard super hard because around that time i had my practical examinations and board examinations also so i worked super hard and then i was completely well versed with all the concepts that had to be done for neat then i started studying in cert I started studying NCERT and I started writing mock tests. So I realized that NCERT isn't something that can be done in one day. It takes a lot of time. So from uh, Jan until September, I studied only and only NCERT with minimal revisions of extra topics. Only NCERT is what I studied. I studied NCERT multiple times, many times. And by need exam, I almost remembered every word of NCERT, especially biology and inorganic chemistry. Right. So NCERT, that's when I started studying NCERT and writing mock tests. So at around Feb 2021, I had made a fixed schedule in my mind. So the fixed schedule was, I used to wake up at around uh, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. is when my day started. And then from around, uh, you know, uh, 11.30 to maybe 2, I used to study physics. Physics, only revision, no studies. So around this three hours of physics, which I devoted, like somewhere around 2.30. So three hours of physics. So in that three hours, I again divided three hours into three parts. One part was for revising theory. And I had a chart where I used to tick here, yeah, topic ke theory wise ke topic ke questions ke liye. Theory of one topic, numericals of the second chapter and numericals of the third chapter in the remaining two hours. So ye ek din ka schedule. Next day I would rotate the chapters. Chapters change. So SE, I made sure that ek week mein I was able to cover like three times seven, that is around twenty-one topics. That is a huge lot of stuff. So in two weeks I can cover the whole syllabus for neat exam. So that is about physics. Chemistry. Again, three hours for chemistry I devoted in my day. Three hours may say. Physical, organic, inorganic. One for each. Okay. And again, physical me, I used to solve problems. Organic me, I used to revise NCRT. Inorganic me, also I used to revise NCRT. And again, I made sure that aisa nahi ho raha ki main ek hafta ek hi topic padh I made sure that ek hafte me, main around 11th ka syllabus complete kar Then next hafta 12th ka syllabus complete kar Like that. So, for this to ensure that tum sare topics touch kar Because there are 97 chapters in totality. So, to ensure that all 97 of them have been revised, you must have charts. I had these charts I used to tick. Okay, like, this chapter kar liya, ek bar revise kar liya. Then, after two weeks again, I'd say, okay, dobara revise karna hai. So, charts, post-it, notes, whatever works for you that you have to use for revision. Because, ek bhi chapter shodna nahi hai. Okay, that was about your chemistry. Now, three hours was given for biology. Three hours for biology, mein, I tried to cover three chapters of NCRT. Initially, I was slow. I took all the three hours for one chapter. Then after one month, I started changing it to two hours. And finally, um, uh, finally, like around three, four months before the examination, I was able to easily cover like three chapters in three hours. And eventually, I was even able to cover four or five chapters. Because I was getting uh, my... Um, Proficiency with NCRT had pretty much increased and I was able to read the lines very quickly. Okay, so the more you revise, the more uh, the more uh, hard work you put in, the easier it will get to revise eventually when you like um, uh, reach the examination, right? So by the time you reach the examination, you can cover the entire syllabus in one day. That has happened. I have tried to revise the entire syllabus in one day and it worked. It does happen. Okay, so that was about it and the remaining three hours was for a test. Test I always wrote in the time period of 2 to 5 p.m. Because your exam, your exam will be held in that time, 2 to 5 p.m. And you must get accustomed to be writing a test in that time. Because, for example, there are many people who take afternoon naps in this time. That is so. That If you have that habit, you need to change it right now. Because you have to write an exam there. If you accustom your body to sleeping at that time, it will be very difficult for you to write in the examination. Okay. So, it's time. Pe, two to five time may he exam litna. And exam ka environment bana ke litna. It's not like you are late ke or whatever. Proper write it on a table. Time rakke. Clock use karo. Okay. Just like proper examination. Environment simulate karke litna hai. 
and i used to solve a test every day without fail no matter what i wrote a test for around 3 or 4 months i without a any, any fail i wrote a test and sometimes i used to write two also sometimes rarely but that is needed you can write one test and one test is to be done in very importantly must be done because like one test a day i did for around 120 days that is like 120 question and each test has 180 question you can imagine the number of questions i solved before going for examination okay so one test a day is highly important must be done no matter what two tests per day can also be done but that leaves you more hectic so that isn't suggested but sometimes i used to do like around once or twice in a week i used to go for two tests a day that isn't suggested but you can do that if you want and then i uh, and then around one to two hours was given for error analysis of the previous day's test error analysis of the test that happened the other day for example if like today's tuesday i would uh, i would uh, check the scores of my monday's test and make an analysis so i had a notebook called error notebook so i used to note down the errors and note down the reason like why that error happened and how can i avoid that error in the examination and i try to condition myself not to repeat the error again so one thing that is important to understand is making errors is fine but repeating them is not fine so once if you realize that i have been repeating a particular error again and again you need to check it immediately another thing is so this was about uh, the my schedule for like around 3 or 4 months and uh, eventually like in the last two weeks before the examination i reduced my study time a lot because that is in the time you should be you know stressed about 12 ghanta padhai 14 ghanta padhai relax kam kar diya then i reduced it to 10 8 and before the exam i just studied for like 4 hours i guess because that is the time you have to relax okay another important thing that will uh, that will you know play a very important role is your mental health mentality on the day of the exam this need is an examination that will also check how mentally strong you are because you are going to enter into a profession that will require a lot of mental courage and strength a lot of patience okay a lot a lot of patience so need will also check how mentally stable i mean how uh, how much peaceful you are how how are you able to keep yourself peaceful and stuff so mental strength is also important okay because you know the 3 hours of writing the exam is pretty stressful there because you know that those 3 hours are going to decide your future like aage kya hoga but you have to relax relax you have studied for 2 hours you have studied for 2 years it is going to work that's what is very important and um yeah so a test every day is one of the very important part of the daily schedule that i had and i followed it very religiously okay i never missed a test not even one test have i missed okay and you need to relax a day before the examination a week before the examination in fact just revise revise and revise okay and as i said you need to complete your study pretty soon like i had 8 months for revision that was because my exam got extended also but even if your exam doesn't get extended you must complete the syllabus by then because then you'll have 4 or 5 months of revision and one more thing i did which i believe was uh, crucial to my success is that i was able to follow the same schedule even when my exam got extended for like 4 four, four and a half months which is difficult for some people because some people like kya exam extend hota ja raha hai kya padhna hai chhodo rehne do like ye to kabhi hoga hi nahi jaane do main kyu padhte rahu itna i did not do that i tried to keep up this same level of motivation for the entire 4 four, four and a half months that uh, exam jo extend hua tha and i believe that is the reason why i could do well in the examination so discipline schedule banao time table banao okay it's not like you need to have a time table time table is in the end of the world okay and another thing is that i never had actually ki like itne ghante se itne ghante ye chapter padhna hai itne ghante se ye karna hai aisa kuch bhi nahi tha mera kabhi okay i just had this rough idea ki like okay 10 se 12 ghanta padhna hai अब जैसे पढ़ना इट्स यू विश वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट स्टडी यू वॉन्ट स्टडी फिजिक्स फॉर टेन आस स्टडी फॉर टेन आस बट मेक श्योर दैट यू डोंट दैट डजन हैपन इन दी एंड एंड में इतना काम नहीं करेगा बिकॉज इन दी एंड तुम सारे टॉपिक्स रिवाइज नहीं कर पाएंगे इन द स्टार्ट लाइक वेन यू जस्ट स्टार्टिंग द स्टडी यू कैन स्टडी इन विच एवर वे यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक तुम्हें दस घंटा फिजिक्स करना है कर लो बट मेक श्योर कि सारे टॉपिक्स कवर कर लो ओके सो दैट इज अबाउट एन इफेक्टिव डेली स्केड्यूल एंड टाइम टेबल फॉर नीड एग्जाम आई थिंक यू विल बी एबल टू गैदर सम पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम माई डेली स्केड्यूल एंड टाइम टेबल okay you need not follow this because this is what worked with me and every person is different every person has different strengths and weaknesses every person has different abilities accordingly every person should have a different time table also so this is the time table i made for myself and so even you should make your own time table because no one knows better than you yourself do
okay you know your weaknesses and strength better than anyone else can do no one can make a timetable for you you must make one for yourself that is the most important part often like aspirants they just try to copy what the toppers do that is wrong because the topper is a different person the aspirant is a different person the aspirant has different capabilities the aspirant has different weaknesses and the aspirant needs a different timetable a different strategy for preparation so what needs to be done is you can just look into the strategies and like oh you know aisa kiya tha but that doesn't mean to be same karna because it will not work for you each person is different i made my own strategy i never relied on anyone to try out a strategy and the same is what you should do you should try to make your own strategy so that is about it i hope you all understood thank you